Hello everyone, I am here to show you the ease of working with the Birds of the World keyword list from birdkeywords.com. I'm in Lightroom, I will first go up under Metadata, Import Keywords, then I will navigate to on my hard drive where my master bird list is contained and I will hit Open. It will take a little, few moments for the Birds of the World keyword list to import as there are over 30,000 species of birds included in this list. But when your list is done, you will find the different families of different birds, the different species connected with each family, and as I said, there's quite a few, and the ones I was just scrolling through are just the ducks and geese. We will also have birding descriptive terms which will include behaviors, bird topography, colors, descriptive terms, and needs more. And as we go under needs more we'll see all the different types of animals which do not have a genus and species attached. Now this will become important to you as I have selected over here a picture of a macaw. I've already added the macaw keyword into my list, but when I go down to keywords and containing keywords, I will find that needs more is also within that keyword for the macaw. I can later do a search for all the animals or species of plants, whatever, but in the course in this case it's just birds, that are under needs more and I can then figure out the exact species of macaw in this case and then I can use my keyword list to add the correct species. But let's go to an image where I do know the correct species. In this picture we have a brown pelican. I'm going to start typing in brown. Now Lightroom, since I have already selected brown pelican before. Brown pelican came to the top of my list. In this case the brown pelican was taken in the Caribbean. Its genus and species is Pelicanus occidentalis occidentalis. Under brown pelican you may also notice the word brown. That is because colors are also included. And then all the different brown common names of all the species within our list are in alphabetical order below the brown pelican. Just with the ease of selecting enter, I have now added the brown pelican to my list of keywords. Now we're, this particular pelican is flying. Lightroom automatically filled in flying. I hit my right arrow key so I did not even have to type in the entire word just by typing FLY and as we go up and look under will export we will find all the different keywords that export with just a few easy clicks of the mouse and a few easy typing so we go let's not use a brown pelican again I'll tell you what let's go to these three and I selected one image, held down the shift key, all three images are selected. This is a tricolor heron. So I will type in TRI dash C O L O R and it did not show up. So I might want to try tri tricolor. Ah, there is my tricolored heron. So every species may have a common name but the common name may not be spelled the same in every case so be sure and try several different options when you're adding your keyword because the animal may be in there but may not be written the way you may have expected it to be as and I did with the hyphen between try and color I hit enter and let's go up and see what we'll export. And again, the family name, 
the genus and species, the class, and the order. And that is the power of using the birds of the world keyword list. We also have the birds of North America keyword list. These may be found at birdkeywords.com. There is an easy trial version that's smaller that you may download into your Lightroom or Aperture. Try it out, see how you like it, and then if you purchase the entire keyword list, you can add the birds of the world or the entire list of American, North American keywords, and they will go in and not mess up your first list that you had already in. So that is birdkeywords.com. Thank you.